My name is Carson T. Morrissey. I was the writer and director of What If, a fan-made Life is Strange story, and I will also be the writer and director of Dawn, a fan-made Before the Storm story. And my name is Shelby Davis. I played Max Caulfield in What If, and I will be the production manager on the upcoming film Dawn. When What If was released, obviously we had no idea how it would take off. We no. didn't even know if anyone would care to watch it. No. We had kind of joked with ourselves and like set bets in our head for how quickly it would actually get watched and how quickly it would get torn apart by fans. Now, being on YouTube for less than four months, What If currently sits at over 170,000 views. It's been rated over 95 times on IMDb and currently sits at a rating of 9.1 out of 10. Um, and we're getting more and more responses and reviews every single day. Uh, people have been very, very happy with it, which means the world to me. Subsequently to that, we had to decide where to go forward. And the decision that was made was the audience response was so great and so thunderous in begging us to make an adaptation of the prequel that was released just earlier this year that we decided to go forward. But in order to do that, we're going to need access to better equipment and just access to better basic amenities that we didn't have for What If. It's a bigger story, believe it or not. It requires more special effects, it requires better equipment, it requires access to better locations. And to do any of that, we need a budget. That is why we're coming to you, the internet at large, and asking for $5,000 for the production of Dawn, a fan made before the storm story. On our official GoFundMe page, we do have a full description of everything that this money is going to be going towards, from equipment, to props, to costumes, to locations, to rentals, to everything that we could possibly need to cover is listed below so that you can read through all of those items and see specifically what we are asking you for this money for. In addition to that, we also have a list of all of our incredible incentives, which we are really, really excited to be able to bring you guys because we want to give you as much happiness that you have yeah. brought us with your love and your support and we want to give back to you in some way. A lot of it is the kind of stuff that people ask us for, like posters and autographs and things like that. Things that we know people wanted for what if, but that we didn't have the ability to bring to you because we didn't have the money or the connections at the time. So a lot of this is kind of based around what we think people want. And also just people's desire to be a part of this. You want your name in the credits, you want to feel like you helped to make this with us, this is your chance, whether it's an addition of one dollar or a thousand dollars. Every cent that you can give us helps to make this movie a reality. I think everybody at some point in their lives, in their childhood or in their adult lives, has a point where they read a book or watch a movie or play a video game, and the story just speaks to them. Three, two, one, action. I, you never know exactly why, you never know exactly what it is about this particular story that just gets to you, that just works its way into your brain and you just can't let it go. You go to work the next day, you go to school the next day, and it just doesn't leave your head. But for me, being a filmmaker, being an artist, which is the most pretentious sounding thing you can say, but is also the most honest truth. There's an extra level to that, in that in order to process, in order to feel, in order to work your way through this mire of this story, you want to create it. You want to write it and cast it and make it and add your own voice to this thing that you love so much. And that's what I tried to do with What If. What If is my love letter to Life is Strange. I didn't do it for the attention, I didn't do it to make a point, I did it because I love the game. And the fact that everyone else loved it was just a happy coincidence. And with Dawn it feels the same. Before the Storm is a story about growing up. It's a story about living with toxic parents. It's a story about betrayal and young love and that hopeless yet ridiculously stupidly optimistic feeling that you can only get when you're 16 years old. And I want to tell that story to all of you the same way that we told What If. So this money gives us a chance to do that.